What's up? This is Jackson from Windows Phone Hacker. So yesterday I showed a sort of sneak peek at my themes application that I've been working on for the last couple of weeks. And I basically just sort of put it out, you know, and wanted to see if there's any interest on it because there's, you know, it's a cool application, but I've received sort of different feedback from different people and the effort it requires and stuff like that sort of I have to balance out. Same thing I do with folders. I have to see, you know, if it's really worth it. And um, shortly after posting it, I received uh, quite a bit of feedback. So I'm very glad that uh, people have spoken out. I've received quite a bit of positive feedback and a couple of negative feedback or constructive criticism, and I appreciate that. Um, I'm just working on the project right now, and I thought I'd answer a couple of questions and then give you guys a demonstration of uh, basically how it works at this stage. Uh, this is still an early version, so things might change, but this is sort of how it's coming together right now. So I received a lot of comments about the first image that I posted with the sort of the bug in the background and uh, you know people saying oh that's a great idea you know have a nice background on there and uh, people asking you know is this a stock photo can you use it with whatever uh, you can use this with whatever image you want uh, the way this works is it actually it renders over the default images over any background image that you choose to put there uh, this is a photo that I took of some random grasshopper or something like that that I found so I just use that as a demonstration um, I've also received some feedback uh, about the other image where some people were like, oh, that's cool, and some people were like, why would you want it to look like that? I'm not actually suggesting that you make your home screen look like this. This is something I whipped up in Photoshop in a couple of minutes. It's just, uh, you know, this is basically just saying this is what's possible. You know, you could have, you could have whatever you want here. You could have, you know, a, sort of a Christmas theme. You could improve the Metro theme. You could use circle icons, whatever. It's just you can put whatever you want there as your image. Um, I've also received some questions about the text. You can customize the text on it because these, uh, that sort of goes into how this works. But basically, yeah, you can remove the text on it, you can change what they are, etc. Now, here I have to go into how it works and basically clear, uh, clear up a couple of things. And this is, this is really why I was asking if there's any interest because obviously if you could just throw a background onto your start screen, I would just release it. I, knew, I know people would love that, etc. The problem here is, and this is sort of the discouraging part uh, that a couple of developers and other users sort of realized in the comments, the application requires that tiles be generated for the default applications or third-party applications on your device. So the tiles that you see here in the image uh, on my phone are basically uh, custom, they're custom tiles generated by my theming application. And when you click on them, they take you where you'd expect them to go, and they work and all that. But this leaves a couple of limitations. A, if you, for example, a popular question on the first one is, if you've rearranged the tiles, will the picture rearrange itself? Uh, no, it won't. If you've rearranged the tiles, you'll basically end up with sort of a jigsaw puzzle, which might look cool. But, uh, yeah, we're not. there's no special magic here. Again, this is not some magical application. It, it's not rendering... Uh, an image behind it per se, it's it's recreating these tiles and generating them based on a custom image. So if you if you wanted to rearrange them, you'd have to do that and repin them. Uh, so admittedly, that's a bit of a pain. I mean, we're we're trying to find a way to make this uh, you know as featureful and as best as we can, but you know that's a limitation there. Um, and a very very popular question is uh, live tiles, and here's. Here's something that, you know, this is, again, why I was really curious if there was interest about it. Live tiles currently will not work with this. Obviously, if you have a third-party application, its live tile won't work because you replaced its tile. But, for example, with messaging and phone and etc., cetera, uh, currently we do not have a way to put the, you know, miss call, new message count, etc., up on those tiles, which is admittedly really quite a pain and could really uh, seriously cripple some of the functionality here, uh, which is something, I mean, we're looking into it. We're trying to find a way to make that happen, but that's that's sort of a something you would have to trade off if you, if you were to use this application. Um, so again, we're looking at that. We're trying to find a way to get that to work because I use, especially the messaging tile, I use that quite often. And in this case, even though it's a fully working messaging tile, it's just a static image. Um, so that aside, uh, I thought I'd cheer you guys up after that sort of heartbreaking news. 
and give you a quick little demonstration about how it works. So here's just sort of an early version that I've been whipping up of the uh, theme manager application. Uh, yes, this will use a desktop application to manage your themes. Uh, this is because it just makes it a lot easier and I'm going to have a way for you to uh, actually import and export your themes. Uh, for example, I can import that uh, theme that I had on the picture and then you can just save this or deploy it directly to your device just to make things nice and easy. So that's, uh, that's kind of cool news and that's why we have the desktop application and if there's demand for it we might actually open up sort of a you know a public place where you can upload your theme and you know, put up, put up screenshots and stuff like that, add a little description, and people can download it directly on their device. We might do that if there's demand for that, so if there is, be sure to let us know. Um, and that aside, um, it just makes things a lot easier when importing your images and stuff and actually creating the themes if you do it on your computer where you've got Photoshop, your image library, etc. Okay, so I'm just going to show the background theme real quick, because uh, that's what a lot of people have been talking about. and. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about how this all works because I'm going to have a tutorial video later that explains uh, how to use the program because things can get a little bit confusing, but hopefully uh, it won't be too hard on you guys. Um, so basically, I just, you know, I have my applications there and I'll click render from background and I'll go ahead and find a image I want to use. There's the bug. Um, for example, I could do this with any image on my computer. Um, so I'm going to use this weird picture of grass. You can sort of see there's a nice sort of grassy background behind my tiles right there, which looks pretty cool. Um, but I found it really works best with sort of continuous image. So it's like you're looking through a window that's sort of paned glass where you can see the image behind it. Uh, for example, with the bug that I showed. And then, of course, now that I've finished this, I just load it up onto my device using the deploy button. Or, since some people have issues with the deploy button, you can also just save this app and deploy it manually. Um, so here we have sort of the, an early version of the uh, Themes UI. And basically, it works pretty much the same way as the Folders application. We can just go down and tap on the ones that you want to pin onto your start screen. Uh, we're trying to find a way to speed this up a little bit and maybe automate it. But for the time being, you just uh, find the tile you want and just tap on them and pin them in order. And since we created a background theme, everything will just pin in order and complete the picture we had. All right, and there we go. And as you can see, again, these are not live tiles, unfortunately. Uh, we're, you know, we're looking into that. We'll try to find a way to get that to work. But they do fit the theme, and as you can see, these are uh, completely working. They'll jump in settings, for example. Um, we can open up Internet Explorer. And, um, you know, they just work, and they look great, honestly, and, you know, with this kind of theme. And so if you're interested in something like this, again, we're releasing this fairly soon, so keep an eye on our uh, Twitter and website, of course. And uh, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel because we'll have more information about this and how to set this up uh, coming up fairly soon when we get this thing released. Uh, so thanks for all the feedback, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.